Knuckleheads, GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacies Unbox video for you. And today, I'm bringing you all the tea. We have the LEGO Legacy Creator Program just rolled out on Friday on Discord in a Q&A with the devs. I'm not going to give you my opinion on it just yet. Let's dive right in and see what we got. So I was, I for one was extremely excited when I heard about the LEGO Legacy Creator Program and they kind of announced that they were developing it right before I became a content creator. So something that really drove me to want to be a content creator and become part of this community. There were a few channels that really inspired me and I want to give them a shout out right here. First channel I ever got into was Bagel Time. I know he's got a really huge channel for some other games. But his LEGO Legacy channel is about, maybe, was it like 1,400, subs? It's not too big, and I really liked his videos. I watched them all the time as I started getting into the game, and they really helped me out. Then I discovered Brickos, and then I discovered Greedos, who are also two fellow guild members of mine, so shout out to the guild, Imperials. So those three content creators are probably the main three that I personally like to watch. Uh, there are some really other great content creators out there too. You should like and subscribe all of their videos, check them all out, help out the community, become part of it. But those three really inspired me. So for me to think about the content creator program, it was exciting. I wanted to be part of that community. I wanted to make videos just like they did, as good as they did. And I wanted to help people out because they had helped me out. And I it's kind of what I wanted to do and I figured all right if I'm gonna kind of like invest in some of the units in this game I'm not gonna just gonna do it for me I want people to be able to see them so I would make sure to, I've been doing try to do guides for all the events that are coming out covering all the units that you can get in the event stores and stuff trying to do things like free to play Friday and a big thing that I do which is kind of unique to my channel is I do the custom character units which it's not the biggest part of my channel but it's the part that I really like the most it's really kind of like the backbone of my channel it keeps the content flowing and I'm hoping that that grows but let's get into what this program looks like so the first thing I notice is anybody can be can apply to become a content creator and while that seems like a good thing I feel like you should have a little bit of a basis of you've at least been creating videos for this game before you're applying to become an official content creator a downside that Greedo's mentioned in his video is you have people who have a lot of followers on Twitch or big YouTube channels and they play the game. They didn't want to make content for the game, but they want the exclusive stuff that comes with being a content creator. So they just do a couple videos a month. To maintain your status as a content creator in this program, you only have to create two videos a month. That's nothing. I'm creating like two videos a day sometimes. And I'm a smaller content creator here. Uh, you know, the application process is pretty easy. They ask you for all the, you know, your email address, your social channels, whatever. It's, this is the problem right here, is the program tiers. All right, so I was actually talking about this in the Discord yesterday, the problem I have with the tiers, and it's not even for me. I straight up said, I'm okay with me starting at bronze tier. I'm a newer channel, my channel's about a month old. It's been growing pretty fast because we have such a great community. But there is a huge glass ceiling that I've noticed on these channels right now because the game is not being played by that many people, right? There's only about, what, 4,000 people on the Discord server as is. And LEGO Legacy, have you checked your YouTube channel? It's only got about 2.5k on it so i guess you won't even be getting to the gold tier described here so bronze tier for basically almost all of the channels out there which are under a thousand you receive specific access assets on the day of the update great i get it on the day of the update so that means if i'm gonna have a video out on the day of the update i have to get up early in the morning make that video and have it make sure that it's posted right at noon or whatever the update's gonna drop just so I have a chance to compete. Meanwhile, people in the silver tier are getting it 48 hours prior to launch. Now, they haven't said anything about, well, okay, are they allowed to launch that video two days before? Because now somebody who's in that silver tier can release that video two days before. Why do I even need to be in the bronze tier? If somebody releases that video two days before, guess what? I'm gonna watch that video, get all that information, I'm gonna make my own video, and it'll be released a couple hours after theirs. It doesn't make any sense to have it like this, unless they're just, people are gonna hoard their information, which I'm telling you right now, 
you might seem like this might be something that people are going to do, but with the way the community is now, content creators are not gonna do that. We have very giving and helpful content creators right on our Discord server that are willing to help you out. They support each other, they watch each other's videos. It's, it's a good community, and I feel like this is trying to kind of put a divide in it. Uh, at least you can be recognized as a disc on Discord as a creator, which, as Greedo said in his video, if you haven't watched it yet, I'll probably link it in the description, actually. It's a really good watch. We're already recognized as content creators on Discord. I, I have a very small channel. I've only got, what, at this point, 67, 68 subscribers. And people on Discord are, are recognizing my channel and talking about the videos and... and People on Reddit, they really enjoy the videos, and that's where I'm getting the majority of my views and subs are really coming from Reddit. Reddit has been very big for me. Shout out to the Reddit fam. Uh, weekly news blasts from on the Discord and exclusive assets recognizing you as a creator. So what does that mean, exclusive assets? Like more thumbnail stuff? Like the stuff they already gave us was pretty good, and I kind of like to make my own thumbnails as is. Silver tier is for anybody with a thousand or more followers. Of all of the channels that I've seen, I think there are maybe two, possibly three, maybe I'm not thinking of a third, with over a thousand that are in the silver tier, and those are the bigger channels. You got Bagel Time and you got Brickos. Those are the two channels that I watch that are over a thousand. So they're the only ones who should be in the silver? I mean, they're already doing great. They're already creating great content. Okay, they, sh they should be recognized in a, in a certain way, and I'll get into how I think that those bigger channels should be recognized more than the smaller ones but this just doesn't do it for me they're getting the assets 48 hours pre-launch so they can assemble their videos two days before to make sure that they have nice crisp clean content they've thought about exactly what they want to do they're not scrambling around to get a video out quick just because the information just dropped and on top of that they're getting all the perks that you get from a bronze it's kind of like the only advantage of being in the silver is you're getting the information earlier and it doesn't make any sense to me. Why, why would we not want all the content creators to have the information early to be able to create the best possible content? Or why don't you have the bronze tier be anybody who has not made any videos yet, right? Or anybody whose channel is a, a certain amount of, it should be videos made, honestly. It should be videos made and maybe a little bit of channel life, you know, to, it should be the silver tier should be the people who have been doing it for a while. It's not easy to build up on YouTube. You know, it's a tough game. It's a grind. But you know what? It's been easier to grow in this niche because the community is so great. And now it's going to be a little bit harder as a content creator. The gold tier. No one is on this tier. There's nobody who has 10,000 plus followers on a channel. Maybe if Bagel Time posted his LEGO Legacy videos on a different channel. So now instead of having just a LEGO Legacy channel, he would have to do LEGO Legacy videos twice a month on his other channel. So he's got to do two LEGO Legacy videos a month on his other channel to get the gold tier. That doesn't make any sense because that's a loophole that he could easily just do just to get access to the information and build the other channel up. Again, gives him a big advantage. Not talking anything bad about him. He's one of my favorite content creators. I think he's awesome. But it's like that doesn't make any sense and it's he's the only person out there who could even have that. And what they're doing is they're incentivizing people who already have big followings. Hey, come make content for the game. What you should be doing is supporting the people who already love the game and are making content for it, and let's help them grow. And those people, it should incent there should be incentives incentives for new content creators, but there should be way more incentives for your current content creator community because we we work hard, we make awesome videos, and we help people out. And you know, the community really enjoys our videos, even down to a smaller channel like mine. Uh, all the silver perks, so the silver perks are again are pretty good, you know, I I'm okay with it with just the silver perks for everybody, that's what it should have been anyway. Uh, video shared on their social media, I think that for videos to be shared on the social media, there should be something within the content creators where everybody has a fair shake and LEGO Legacy or Gameloft can kind of check out all the videos and see which one they want to share. Don't you want some sort of quality control, right? So what if somebody with 10,000 subs, what if their content is just trash? And meanwhile, you have somebody with 300 subs and their content is phenomenal and you're sharing out the trash content. 
it's actually gonna be counterproductive. So in terms of them sharing on their social media, all the content creators should just post their videos on the Discord, like a, a new Discord channel for content creators and Game Loft should check them out, have somebody who checks them out and tears them up, shares them on the page because you want quality control with the content that they're putting out. Again, now they're being, instead of, they're using us, right? We're making content for the game. Use us for good and help us, right? We're helping you to build the game. We're supporting your players. A lot of the times on my channel, I'm trying to push people to get some of these pay to play units because I'm showing them how good they are, right? I just did a video on Scarlet about why people should put money into buying Scarlet. I did a whole series on Hank. I did a series on the Imperials. Like I've done, done stuff for these pay to play events to try to help build them up because that's what's hot around the game. And again, I also do free to play videos for, I know there's a lot of people out there who want to be free to play and that's perfectly fine, but you should really be supporting us in a better way than this. Again, I'm not as personally outraged because all right, I'm okay with starting on the bronze tier. My channel's a month old. I do have a lot of videos for a channel that's only a month old, but it should be, I should be able to get to the silver tier pretty easily just by showing that, hey, I'm sticking this out, I'm making content, I'm a guy who's dedicated to making content for this game, I'm the guy you really want to be given that early information to. Not somebody who just comes with their 10,000 sub channel and says, I'll do a couple LEGO Legacy videos a month just to get that extra information. It's just not right, it's not right. You know, and then here's the exclusive assets. You get updates related to backgrounds and minifig poses. What does that even, who cares about that? What am I gonna do a video on a minifig pose? Updated theme frames and banner for text layover. That's kind of cool. I mean, okay, that's that's not a, that's a decent thing. Exclusive official content creator badge. Official, official. Again, we're already recognized on Discord and we're on, we're some of the biggest voices on Discord. We're always there, you know, within the discussion. I love being on Discord. I wish I could be on there every day, but it's a, it gets a little bit too much to be on there every single day. And this is, again, something I don't like is the requirements. Two videos per month. Two videos per month. I'm doing, I was doing up until this last week, there was a little bit of craziness. I was doing a video a day. I had a video coming out every day. I have videos pre-recorded. Right, and I'm finally starting to organize myself. I'm trying to do like weekly series. So instead of just doing all the custom units, you know, three or four at a time, I'll do one a week. Two videos a month. That is an insult to content creators. All you gotta do is be two videos a month and have 10,000 subs. So again, it might be like, well, if you're doing two videos a month, how do you have 10,000 subs? Somebody might just be coming in with a channel with 2,000 subs. Also, YouTube is a sketchy place. It's pretty easy to buy YouTube subscribers. Just gonna say it. Somebody out there is gonna buy 10,000 subs and do their two videos a month and get their exclusive content. Or better yet, they're gonna buy 10,000 subs and do tons of videos and they'll have all the exclusive content and everybody will be going to them because they know they're gonna get the information from there first. Why am I gonna follow the small channel when I can follow the big channel and get all the information first? That's the thing I love about this community is people are still following my channel even though I'm not a bigger channel and there's people giving out the same information. Sometimes I'm the first one to get it out. Sometimes I cover things that no one else covers and those videos do really well, right? So I try not to cover the same things as the bigger content creators because, well, they're already covering it. And yes, I could cover it for my followers, but I'm betting that my followers are already following them too. So I try to do things that are a little more unique. And this is really gonna make it harder for, for smaller channels like mine to grow because we can't do those like update videos, those covering events videos. You can't get that nice polished content coming out uh, first. Uh, you need a theme, at least one video to each update. So I have to do a video for each update as a content creator just to maintain my status as a content creator, uh, which I think is fine. I like that they have videos for updates because they want you to kind of update the people. And I've been wanting to do update videos anyway. So that was something I, here's the thing though. I never cover the updates as update videos because all the bigger channels are already covering it. And I don't want it to be covering all the same stuff that they're covering all the time. I'm trying to do unique things. So now it's saying everyone has to cover the same thing, but they get to cover it before you and they get the information two days before you. 
and if they have 10,000 subs, they're gonna get their theirs shared on their Facebook and Instagram of LEGO Legacy, and it's just not fair. And it must be compliant with LEGO and legal policies, but no, yeah, sure. I'm sure we all are. Uh, and what does our ideal applicant look like? Frequently posting twice a month is ideal. Twice a month? That is not frequently posting, right? It should be the frequency of your posting should talk about your tier, not just, I'm sorry, twice a month to and, and just basing it on subs is not a good way to, you know, tier your content creators. Uh, energetic, positive, everyone in the community is energetic and positive, so everybody should do really well with this part. Uh, tips, tricks, tutorials, let's play, live streams. Those are all types of videos that I do on my channel and other content creators do. Uh, I would love to see somebody acknowledge my custom units because those are, that's my bread and butter right here. That's what I really love to do on this channel. But those videos don't do as well as the other ones. But still, I keep doing for the people that love them. I know you're out there. And are they only on YouTube? Have a Twitch, Instagram, Twitter? I don't know anybody. I don't really watch Twitch like that. I don't know if anybody's streaming LEGO Legacy on Twitch. Uh, I doubt it. So, yeah, thank you, Gameloft, for this. So that's my take on it. Am I outraged? Am I going to quit making videos? No. I still love the game. I still like Gameloft. I just think they occasionally make some oversights and they make decisions that are business-based decisions uh, and sometimes don't think about their community. And I think that if Gameloft put the community first, it would be better for business. Uh, what I think that content creators should get and what I had hoped, and they're not even rolling this out for anyone, I think that content creators should get access to those pay-to-play units uh, and that it should be harder to become an official content creator. Like, it should be, all right, you got to do two videos a week so I think we consider a content creator. And if you're going to tier them, right, it shouldn't be access to information. It should be access to in-game content. So if you're a gold tier, Right, and you have that big channel. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. I, if I'm game off, I'm gonna make sure that you have the every single pay-to-play unit, so that way you can showcase them to people, right? Because that's what's gonna make me want. That's what made me want to get Scarlet. I saw uh, Bricko's and Bricko and Greedos did videos on Scarlet with uh, some seven seven-star playthrough, and I knew I had to have her. They talked about how good she was, and I got to see it. That's what the gold tier should get. If you're gonna tier us, fine. Don't tier us on information. Tier us on in-game content, right? If you're giving content creators that pay-to-play stuff, they can really showcase it for everyone else and try to help you make money as a company. Just giving them information early. This is, I love the idea of the content creator program. It was one of the reasons I became a content creator was I was like, oh, there's gonna be a program. I can get some stuff. I can make some cool videos. And it wasn't what I thought. This ain't it. This ain't it, Game Loft. That's all I'm going to say. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. As always, please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ding that little bell for some notifications. And, of course, remember to knuckle up. You block me on Instagram Snapchat, I don't give a damn about that I can see your face, still feel the same I don't feel the need to forget